All Home DIY Dad here today. We're going to show you how to make a flower pot string light mounting pole. This is for use when you want to put some string lights up in your yard, but you don't have anywhere to fasten them to. So hopefully this will work out well for you as it did for me in my string light application. And you'll end up with something like this, a nice rustic looking flower pot with a string light pole coming out the top. And it's very useful and kind of inconspicuous. Going to go through the materials you're going to need. I'll also post these in the description in the video so that you can reference back to it. You're going to need a hacksaw to help cut up um, some of the pole drills. Um, you're going to need metal drill bits, specifically for hard metal in the size that you choose for your materials. You're also going to need some spray paint, and I also bought some sealant spray for the flower pot so that they um, then a little more water resistant and don't kind of break down as much over time. On top of that, you're going to need the actual poles to use. So I used three quarter inch, 10 foot galvanized steel pipe from Home Depot. The pipe that I used has the male threaded ends on it and it comes with caps on it when you buy it from the store. I ended up hacking those off, off which is why you need the hacksaw. You could also buy extensions for the pole you can so you can make it higher than 10 feet if you want they make you know the female adapters that you can thread the pipes into each other and, and make longer strings of it the three quarter inch galvanized pipe is going to fit into the one inch galvanized steel nipple which is 12 inches long and this is what's going to be set into the flower pot for the three quarter inch pipe to slide into to create that pole and it's also would make it removable if you want to move the flower pot at any time. You're going to need some galvanized uh, hex bolts as well. Um, I'm going to need two per each pot that you make. One is going to set into the bottom of the nipple and create a strong base for being mounted into the concrete. And then the other one's going to fasten the pole into the nipple, into the sleeve, so that it doesn't pull out. You're also going to need some stainless steel eye bolts, which will go on the top of the poles to fasten your string lights to. Notice how all of the hardware I'm using here is 5 16 inch. That's what I'm using um, for all of them to make it easier to make the cuts. So you can buy the one 5 16 inch metal steel um, drill bit so that you don't have to have all different sizes um, and have to coordinate what goes where. I just use 5 16 for all of it. Here is the flower pot that I decided to use. It is a 26 inch by about 16 and a half inch high wooden barrel planter. And it works really nicely because it has the steel banding around it, which makes it a lot stronger. You can use any of the other style flower pots as well that maybe that, you know, um, composite or rubberized material that doesn't crack or break. Um, but I chose this one. It's a little more rustic looking. The wife liked the look of this one and it turned out uh, pretty well and I got a really good discount on them because the two I bought had a little damage to them so instead of $45 they were $10 each. I'm going to also need some concrete. I used the fast setting quickcrete and I used about 200 pounds for each flower pot pull mount that I did so I needed um, eight bags of this or so. Let's get started with building the actual pot holders. Like I mentioned mine had a little bit of damage to them so I wanted to sturdy them up also, so I put in um, the one inch treated lumber on the bottom, fastened it to the sides into the metal banding. So it created a little bit more stable of a bottom base because we're gonna be putting a lot of concrete into this and we don't want it to break. So cut those pieces, put them in um, with some screws to strengthen these things up. All right, now what I wanna do with these 12 inch steel nipples is put a 5 16 inch hole somewhere close to the bottom to put a uh, galvanized hex bolt in. This is going to be anchored into the concrete so I want to create a little bit of a fin in the concrete so that it sets up around that and it makes it really nice and sturdy once it's all set into the flower pot. So this is what it'll look like once it's actually set into the flower pot. You can see that at the bottom of the pipe and then concrete will cover all of that. Now it's time to do a little prep on the barrel, putting a little tape down along all the edges 
so that the water um, when we do the concrete doesn't just seep out. I learned that on the first one. So this is the second one I'm doing and I taped it up nice. The first one just had a little too much water coming out the bottom that I like. Time to put in the concrete. So mix this up, put in one bag at a time, get to the moisture level that I wanted and then keep going until I do all four bags. And once that's in, I put in that 12 inch um, steel pipe, the sleeve that's for the big pole, put that in at the end, uh, get it nice and level and kind of use the trowel to smooth out the top and should set up nicely over the next little while. And then once it's fully set, we can get the prep work done on putting the poles in. Now that the concrete is set and we can put the pole in and drill our 5 16th hole for our bolt to go through to keep this anchor down into the sleeve. I learned the hard way to always check your materials before you use them. One of the sleeves or the nipples that I used had this imperfection on the inside. It had an edge. And so I ended up, because it was already concreted into the flower pot, I needed to cut out a slot on my pole that slides into it so that it would actually go all the way down. Otherwise I could only get it in about an inch, which is definitely not enough for the weight um, that we're gonna be putting on these things. Now that the base is all set, we can prep the actual poles to go in. I did three coats of black spray paint. I'll give it a nice finish um, so that it's not seen as easily when you're looking at night. Um, you don't even notice that they're there. And then you should end up with something like this. I did end up spray painting the concrete on the top to kind of blend in as well. It'll get covered by dirt and flowers in the spring anyways, but it'll look nice that way. And there is your final result. And then here's a view of the top of the pole showing where that eye bolt is mounted into and kind of how it attaches with all of the lines for the lights. I hope this video was helpful in making some freestanding flower pot light foals for your application and your project. If you're interested in learning more about how to actually mount these string lights and run them all, please see my other video here. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and post any comments below.